Hey folks, all doing here of done here with your Monus Minute on November 19th, 2021. ESO news, luxury merchant, and global merchant stuff, all in a few minutes. So first up in the news, ESO Live had a dungeon run with our community managers and some members of the ESO stream team. I'll leave a link down below for those who missed it. Also, right now on sale, Blackwood uh, is on sale for up to 67% off, as well as a Black Friday's Mundus uh, bundle and a uh, the Standard Edition as well. Uh, the Standard Edition and B Blackwood Edition are going to be on sale only on Xbox, PlayStation, and Stadia, not for PC. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why they're doing it only for the consoles, but maybe they're trying to drive up sales for that. Either way, I'll leave the link down for that for folks that are on the uh, platform, on those console platforms. Also, uh, last Thursday started the uh, Undaunted celebration, which is going to be going on until November 30th. Basically, each day do a dungeon and get two tickets. Also, during this time frame, they're going to be able to get various Undaunted rewards. Uh, including new opal monster masks from Chokethorn, Iceheart, Lord Warden, uh, Nightflame, and Stormmother from the respective dungeons. And also, you're going to be able to buy some more fragments for your Morph Morphling pets and some unlocks for your Doom Char, uh, Doom Char Plateau housing fragments uh, if you weren't able to get them the last time around. Also, you're going to get a few style pages uh, for various opal weapons, masks, and shoulders. And, of course, group repair kits. And finally, uh, there is a contest going on, uh, win crowns and goodies with the ESO Rocks Art, art Contest. Uh, basically, take screenshots in ESO, make an artwork of it, has to include ESO, and go to the link I'll link down below uh, to submit it, and you have a chance to get some nifty prizes, including 21,000 crowns, uh, some crown pets, mounts, houses, house guests, or music boxes of your choice, and also pink torchbug pets. All right, let us take a look at the luxury merchant for this week. So a lot of Craglorn and Needic stuff. Kind of cool. And on the golden merchant this week. Necklace of Stendar. When you heal yourself or an ally, you remove all negative effects from them. This effect can occur once every 30 seconds per target. Not bad. Um, probably good for healers that aren't a Templar. Uh, I still like some other sets out there, uh, say Curse Eater as well, uh, which doesn't necessarily remove all effects, but has, you know, can remove about three, three effects, I think, per every eight seconds per target. But still... This has its place if you're interested in it. I don't think you necessarily need the gold version of it, though. Also for 150, Necklace of Whittler Queen. On the five piece, uh, five the five item bonus gives you a, your bow attacks reduce enemy movement speed uh, of any enemy to hit by 15% and increases your movement speed by 15% for three seconds. The reduction to movement speed doesn't seem to stack with Snare. Maybe they changed that uh, with this latest change, but... Yeah, I probably would avoid this set and maybe only go for the purple version if you really want it. Then for 250k, uh, Jailbreaker, a uh, game minor expedition at all times, increase your movement speed by 15%. Really not worth it for 250k. And then Light Speakers, add 600 weapon damage and spell damage to your restoration staff abilities. Again, another set I would pass on. Then for 100k, Lambert's Visage, which actually for PvP or PvE, I think is fairly good, for, especially for PvE. PvP side, you might have a different opinion, but it's still a lot of damage, and it is a easy proc to, go, to, uh, to use. However, the dungeon it comes from... Uh, Vaults of Madness, pretty easy dungeon to run, in my opinion, so maybe you just want to run in the dungeon instead. And then Stonekeeper Mask... A pretty good, a pretty good helmet for tank builds, especially for PVE side. However, again, the dungeon, I think it's Dark Shade One, fairly easy to run. I would probably, oh wait, oh no, 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 this is Ice Vault. Yeah, maybe actually you want to pull, pick this one up if you don't have a deal, if you don't have the DLC, or again, if you just hate running Ice uh, Frost Vault. Yeah, 
So, up to you. Your choice if you want to get those uh, all on sale on the Golden Merchant inside Cyrodiil. Anyway, I'm Hero of None. That's Monday's Minute. See y'all in Tamriel.